Hello everyone, so today we're going to learn about keeping it clean part two and learning about home cleanliness. Our standards and objectives for today are, I can explain ways a clean home environment keeps me healthy. So our environment, the environment is what is all around you. Environment is everything that you touch, eat, and breathe every day. Some of our daily environments include our homes, our school, stores and restaurants, parks, playgrounds, our neighborhood, etc. Why do we need a clean environment? A clean environment helps us keep safe, happy, and healthy. Living things function best in environments that are healthy for them. It is important to have a clean bedroom because a clean bedroom helps us gain better rest at night. It helps you to stay organized and find things easier. It prevents accidents, so putting away your toys and things will help you from getting hurt. And also, it prevents bugs and rodents. Rodents are animals such as mice and rats and lizards. Some tips for a clean bedroom include matching shoes together and putting them away neatly. Storing clean clothes away from dirty clothes. Putting toys and materials away safely. Making your bed daily. And taking the trash and dishes out of your room. A clean kitchen is important because a clean kitchen helps us prevent spreading germs through our food. We cook and eat better quality meals. It prevents rodents and bugs and it helps our food last longer. Some tips for a clean kitchen include putting trash into trash cans and putting recyclables into recycle. Putting dishes in the sink, cleaning up spills from tables and floors, properly storing open food and foods that need to be refrigerated, cleaning up crumbs and other food from tables and floors. Now let's check out a cool video on keeping a clean house. Cleanliness at home. In the last chapter, we learned about the importance of keeping our body clean. In this chapter, we will see how we can keep our house clean. This is very important. A dirty house can breed germs. Germs can make us fall ill. Rats, mice, cockroaches and mosquitoes live and breed in dirty places. They also make us fall ill. Also, it's nice to live in a clean house. Helping my parents. My mommy and daddy both work in different offices. So, on weekends, we, that is, my brother and I, help them to clean our house. We have a lot of fun while we work. I help my mother dust the cupboards and furniture while my brother helps daddy rid the house of cobwebs. Cobwebs are spun by spiders. My father and brother also clean the refrigerator and washing machine. Mommy and I then sweep and swap the floor. We use various things to help us in our cleaning. Duster, broom, mop and a disinfectant like phenyl when we swap the floors. Phenyl helps to keep the floors free of germs. We use a carpet brush to clean the carpet. We sweep the dust and dirt into a dust pan and empty the pan into a dustbin. Sometimes we use a vacuum cleaner to clean the carpets and even the sofa set. My brother and I make sure that our room is clean all week. After playing with our toys, we put them back on the shelves. We put away our books in their proper places after finishing our homework. I can trip and fall over things if I leave them on the floor. We help Daddy keep our garden neat and tidy by trimming the plants and sweeping away fallen leaves. We love taking care of the plants. They give us shade 
clean air and pretty flowers. Our house is a clean house. We love our house. I hope you will come and visit our house one day. Revise and remember. It is important to keep a clean house. Insects, rats and germs live and breed in dirty places. We can vacuum, dust, sweep and swap the house to keep it clean. Put things back in their correct places after using them. We must keep our garden neat and tidy. For more entertainment, log on and subscribe to WW. All right, back to the lesson. It's also important that we keep our neighborhoods clean as well. A clean neighborhood helps us stay safe. It prevents bugs and rodents from entering our homes, prevents germs that cause sickness, and it helps us stay interested in nature and the environment around us. Some tips for a clean neighborhood include throwing trash in trash cans, as well as throwing cans, bottles, paper in recycle bins, picking up any pet droppings, and alerting adults if you see glass, needles, or any sharp or dangerous objects on a playground. Thank you, friends. So this was our lesson for this week. Have a great weekend.